Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be a very unusual one for me. Um, I buy all of my Camaro parts from a company in Michigan uh, called, and I'm sure some of you are familiar with it, uh, Heartbeat City Camaro. And their website is heartbeatcitycamaro.com. And Jim, the owner, uh, has acquired a epic 39 car barn find, true authentic barn find uh, that that entails five buildings at a uh, at a f working farm in the in uh, Oklahoma, and he invited. Uh, myself and a couple of my friends to come and help them process the cars and pack up some of the parts and, uh, to have them shipped back to Heartbeat City in Michigan. So um, this video is gonna is starting out with us driving from California all the way to Oklahoma uh, to do that. We are gone for uh, two weeks and just had the time of our life and I think you're gonna find this video extremely interesting so uh, I'm gonna let the video run its natural uh, sound and I will uh, chime in every once in a while here uh, to keep you up to date on things so I hope you enjoy it yeah put it in perspective Tourists with them. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen a field before. Yeah. Check out that garnet red 4x4. Four four. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that thing's massive. That's a, that's a Copo co combine. I think they're selling that single wide. <laughs> single wide SS. <laughs> Glad you said something, Mark. This is gonna be Hell yes. priceless footage. I still want the Garnet Red 4x4. And Jim was afraid there weren't going to be enough people here. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, a four lug, uh, six inch steel wheel. Obviously, if you see a big hood box, it's a Camaro hood, and if you see a bigger hood box, it's a flapper hood. You know, it's 
He only built two cars, really. You know. Yeah. God bless him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> is that aluminum head? Yeah. Wow. Oh my oh, god. It is in January 6th, aren't they? I'm psychic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I said. That's what was in there. I had no idea. No, I know. You said coming. I'm going to eat Pete Pounder. Hey, Jim, Jim. If you'll notice, most big blocks, so Jim and I found a couple of 66 models, but for the most part, they're four volt main 75 coils. Portable is a stud. If you start looking at gaps oh. and look for rust, it's just pure as it gets. There you go, see? <laughs> if you start looking at red lines, it's LS6. That was just crazy. What did you say the hugger orange one was? Uh, 69 Z28 hugger orange. It needs, you know, it needs restoring, but that's, that's the car everybody likes when they're done. Yeah. yeah. Rally sport or not? I believe it's not. Right. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that, is it a 711 or 12 interior? Buddy, I don't remember that either. I do think it's an X car. Yeah, it's a 77. Okay. Mm -hmm. No trim. I was here 15 years ago or so running in my car. He couldn't reach something and he said, Would you be a hand and grab this for me? And I'm piling junk up to stand on. He goes, Yeah, just grab those. And I'm standing on YH wheels. Yeah. <laughs> they're still here. They're just playing their one right there. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. 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 There's a Z28 with a 28 DZ motor laying in a trunk over in that corner. Can these things sit outside overnight for a couple nights? This one can. This one can. Okay. What we're going to try to do is, well, I'm going to. I'm going to use that building as stage for putting all the parts. So I wanted to, so if we pull, pull some of the stuff out, we'll weed all the parts out of here, get them all out of here, then, you know, then in here's done. But maybe we can move a few things back, just put some of the cars in here. So is somebody part of one vendor over here last week? Like I just part of it. Yeah. 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 That's where I'm heading. Adam Green Z X thirty three. Oh, and it's a rally sport. Go to Fathom Green Rally Sport. Fathom Green Rally Sport. Yep. Here's an NOS Chevelle flapper hood. Just kind of. I mean, the fenders aren't. I don't think the fenders are Rally Sport fenders. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Fathom Green. Fathom Green. And <laughs> look, look at this. This is a whole box, a whole box of headlight doors <laughs> for Chevelle. Yeah, here's another cluster. Oh, yeah. 
Does this have the engine? It's in a truck, so it's right there, and it's an easy motor. Hey, Mark, I mean, uh, Ted. Tag gone? Huh? Caltech's gone. Uh, boy, what a straight car, though. It's a Z. Is it? Yep. I think it's original paint. It's got holes in it. Mm. I think it's Cortez silver car. You think? It ain't original paint. And from the back side of this here, it looks like it was maroon. Oh, maroon. Okay. Yeah. Exciting. I mean, it's just just fun. To, just, yeah, it just is. for the trip itself, barn and barn find, and you know, just talking about the stuff and seeing all this. I mean, there were so many engine blocks in that in those two warehouses alone. You know, so those two guys that I, I met, they uh, they're from Texas, East Tesky, Texas. I didn't catch the foreman's name that we were talking to. The uh, he's the foreman for the farm itself. Yeah, he's a talker. Boy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. He says he, yeah. He, he had 35 years, he was the foreman of this, yeah. of this ranch. Yeah, nice guy. Who's the old guy? What's his relation? Which old guy? The skinny guy. The... Maybe there's well, a... no, there is in that building right there. That Quonset is where all the other cars are oh, stacked there's in. There's, there's a big building on your left. Yeah, there's her house right there. The thing yeah. <laughs> no wonder. Yeah. Right. She wants to sit with the, yeah. the condo downtown. <laughs> Don't ask me that question. I can't talk right now with a bunch of guys and what? <laughs> hey, don't don't ask me that question. The answer is always going to be yes. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
always so hard to tell. Yeah. That tag, I mean, it's like... Yeah. What was this one over here? This is a Fathom Green Rally Sport Z, but without the original engine. Oh. That's what's the best breaker. <laughs> That's right. I always thought I could fix it in there. I can do pretty good. Well, I don't know whether you see my YouTube video of the crash Z that I'm fixing. Oh, yeah, look at that house up there. This video is going to get so many hits. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, these are true bar barn. Oh, fires. absolutely. Yeah, it's a genuine. A lot of those are fake ones you see. You uh, bet. Reality shows and stuff. Yeah. Wow, we never saw this rally green one, did we? Whew. Love that color. Where are those wrench from? Um, those look like Pontiac green. Oh no, those are SS wheels. Yeah, they they were late late '69, and I think they are the same ones that the Chevelles had. Yeah. Wow, that's a beauty. See, I like the Helen's tooth. Yeah, I do too. I want to put the black and white in mine. Yeah. I got I got frames and stuff, but you know, right. A lot of money here, so all yeah. But anyway, it started, and then we couldn't turn it off. There's, there's a train. So, Jim, is this an L78? This is L78. Yeah. Did I hear some of the L78? Yep, this Camaro. Oh, man. <laughs> Does the uh, peanut butter come with it? Yes. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you got to get me some video. <laughs> what? Camaro with an E. Yeah. Love the color on that Chevelle over there. Is it? How cool would that be? Or roll up in an LS6 Chevelle? What is. Huh. Yeah. 
What is this car? Do you know? Sir, it's a 69. It's a Z. Oh, it is a Z. Yeah. 33. Uh -huh. Oh. Dusk blue. Dusk blue. It's been right here for 15 years. Oh. Wow. Is it a rally sport or no? Or? I don't think it's a rally sport. Uh, it's just got the standard wiper motor on it. it uh, I didn't oh, right. It. Yeah, the, and it doesn't have the hole in the uh, yes, right. firewall. Yeah, just a Dusty Blue X33. Yeah, and they usually, the rally sports have a couple holes here. Yes, sir, you're right. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, the sheet metal has some wear, but he's got plenty of NOS metal here to fix Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. I edit these videos, so okay. don't worry about it. Oh, it's not? And this car is sold, right? Well, the guy that's gonna buy it's not here. Oh. Oh, that's the guy. So, Adam, do you know what this red Chevelle is? Oh, no, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. That's the one what? That's the one in the picture, that red one, I think. I know, but do we yeah. know what it is? Well, it's a cowl hood, so it's probably, a, probably an L78 or an LS6 car. I think this might be one of the LS6 cars. Uh, that's too much for me. Does it say 454 Pete or 396? It doesn't have anything on it. It's probably, I don't know, it doesn't have any logo on the fender. What about that side? I think it's a 396. Oh, yeah, so if it's, it is. Well, it's got a big block in it. Oh, 396? Not the 46. 375, right? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> My mouth is watering. Oh no, you know what? You're right. 396 L78 L78. That's right. Okay. The, re the red and the white one are both L78. There's four LS6 ones. Yeah, yeah. I don't know which ones are which. Oh, that looks to be an LS6 yeah. Yeah. I think you need to do it one more time. <laughs> All right. Are we not going to rest this on? Nice.
hold on, hold on, hold on, Ted. Let me just, let me get it. Let me. Uh, you got it. Yeah. All right. We're going to, we're going to support some of the weight so you get down there. Okay. I think we got it. Okay. So you got it. Good job. Okay. Now we got about. There's like six Chanel hoods up here in the boxes. Okay. Heavy. Break time for those rear ends. That was fun. Rear ends. Yeah. I, I just uh, put you on when you were doing your um, the forklift. Oh, excellent. Actually, you're in quite a few shots, so. This car right here is the car that I ended up buying. It's a Hugger Orange with white stripes, 69Z28 with standard black interior and a number of other options. I will be hauling this car back to California and starting the restoration on it after I am finished with the Le Mans blue car. And as usual, I'll have a whole set of videos on the restoration of this car as well. So as it turns out, my buddy Ted ended up buying this car, which is the Fathom Green Rally Sport Z28, and I will be carrying this car back to Arkansas for him and then coming back here to pick my car up and then heading back home to California. This is a group of mostly DZ blocks, and there are a number of uh, big blocks here too, uh, 396s and 454s, but the majority of all these blocks shown here are DZ blocks, which 
as you well know, comes in all the Z28 Camaros, so I've never seen so many DZ blocks in one place. This is the second or third day of processing all the parts. And you can see here all of these gondolas are all wrapped up and ready to be shipped. And uh, when the two semi trucks arrived, then they loaded them up. This was incredible, but this on this top shelf, there are DZ blocks lined up. As you can see here, wow. So then being on a working farm, uh, the farmhands brought in the, the big guns I mean. forklift yeah. and got them down as you can see here.
So as I mentioned before, my buddy Ted bought this Fathom Green Rally Sport Z and we loaded it on the trailer and took it to his house in Arkansas. And we stopped at the car wash to get all the 25 years of dirt and dust off the car. So a few hours later we arrived at his house and unloaded the car. This is his really nice 69 Super B 383 car. So then after a couple of days visiting, we came back to Oklahoma and loaded my car onto the trailer. And now we're gonna head back to California after being here for two weeks. We were here 13 days and it was the most amazing experience that I've ever had as far as the cars are concerned. So I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel, and you'll be able to uh, follow the progress of the restoration of this car and uh, the completion of my Le Mans Blue car. And, of course, I've got uh, the videos and the, the continuation of the reconstruction of the wrecked Z as well and also my motorcycle restorations too so uh, again thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one and again I want to thank Jim and Adam from Heartbeat City uh, for inviting us here in the first place and please visit their website at heartbeatcity.com heartbeatcitycamaro.com and I'm going to leave a link down in the description as well. So again, thank you.